Stage one for me to create a fake wound is I'm going to use Elmer's glue. It's pretty straightforward. It actually dries clear. Right now it's, you know, of course, quite, quite white because it's still wet. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to show you what I do next. So that the wound sort of blends in and this looks like part of my skin, I took the edges of the glue as it was drying and spread it out to keep it from having a really defined, okay, here's a wound look. It actually kind of goes in with my skin and it's still drying, um, so I will show you the next phase. When it comes to this wound and uh, fake skin using Elmer's glue, what, see, it, when it went on it was very white and now you can tell it's, um, it's very clear and part of it's even pulled away where I've been bending my arm and it's been causing it to pull away, which is really cool. What we're going to do next is we're going to be adding some foundation to it to help blend it right in with the skin. It's going to look like real skin, but skin that's just not so happy should have thought to do this on my leg, it would have been easier. I put a little bit of foundation near my wrist and I'm going to be taking my foundation brush and working that into this glue and helping to blend it into my arm and make it look like real skin. I cannot hold the camera while I'm doing that so I will put the camera back on once I'm done. See that's become a really good flesh tone color. Um, I used a kabuki brush to do this. I'll show you what that looks like. It's this kind of a brush and it's used to put makeup on and usually put, put it on your face you do it in little circles like this when I was doing it for the arm I just patted it on up and down up and down up and down up and down so that I could blend it in but not tear away too much of the skin now this uh, Elmer's glue skin allows you to uh, peel away skin create wounds drive things into it depending on how thick you make it and if you want to do something really heavy duty you can add paper pulp to the uh, Elmer's glue and it will create uh, a lot of texture and thickness. So I will show you next what I'm going to do. The next step that I'm going to be doing on this is I'm going to be determining exactly where I want this wound to be. I have something I want to drive into the wound. <laughs> I thought since it's summer a corn holder might be nice. Um, but you have to determine where the wound is going to be because where the wound is you want a lot of darkness, so I'm going to be putting a black dot of eyeshadow uh, where each of those uh, metal forks are going to go in. And uh, then I'm going to put just a tiny bit of purple around it and make a little bit of bruising, kind of a red purple. Ending up with something like this, now it doesn't look too impressive yet, but then I haven't added the appliance yet. I will be driving underneath that Elmer's glue, now not into my skin, thank you my real skin but into the fake skin into the Elmer's glue I'm going to be angling this in sideways so it'll be under the Elmer's glue and above my arm so now I've got it driven through the uh, Elmer's glue skin and I got a little bit of coloring there but what I'm going to need of course is blood so let's get to that okay, so I got a little bit of fake blood that I've just sort of dripped into the top of that I'm going to let it my arm just stay upright let it drip. It'll drip underneath the Elmer's glue and out the bottom just like it, you know, where the stakes went through. And it'll go down the arm. And once it's all dry, I'll have myself a nice little <laughs> corn-eating injury. 